that time in any spaces where I'm talking. G'day guys, this is part one of my tinny upgrade. So this is a 390 Explorer. It's got a little 30 horsepower till steer on the back. So ideally, I just want this boat for chasing flathead, jacks. Um, I just want to be able to chuck it down in the canals, go for a fish with it, not have to worry too much about it, pull it back out, put it back in the shed. So ideally, I don't want any timber that can rot. I don't want any carpet that can rot or stink. Uh, I don't want anything else in this boat that can corrode easily, so I'm going to strip the whole boat out, it's going to get a full rebuild, uh, it's all going to be done by myself and a friend of mine, so it's all achievable stuff, so stay tuned guys, there'll be several parts of this video as I build the whole boat and get it finished, but I'll show you the strip down and start on the rebuild. So initially the boat's a bit of a hodgepodge, timber everywhere, some compartments that have broken uh, some weird stuff cut into my deck, there's some stuff screwed on top of the seats, the big heavy battery up the front. So removing the top layer we discovered different panelling and stuff underneath which is screwed from all different angles with all different bits of timber. So I finally got all that out, cleaned everything out, no more timber, no rubbish, no nothing. Time to measure up the top sheets see how much alloy we need to cover it up. It turned out we needed quite a bit of alloy. We went with three mil for the top things and 2.5 for the sides and the bottom underneath. So we inserted two braces in between the two front seats. Then we mounted some square tubing to the side level with the seats in order to give us somewhere to mount our top plate to. Then we need to brace it all. So we braced across to that center piece, built some frames, put it off the initial frames of the bow, welded it all in. So we put a lighter piece of alloy across the floor put it down level with the floor but we made sure we left gaps underneath the seat so I was able to hose stuff out when I needed to. It's starting to come together we can get an idea of what's going on. So now we're welding in the boxes we're going to have a live well, we're going to have a few tackle compartments, a few other sections. So the front deck similar we used a little bit of tubing and some RHS. It's been welded to the existing frames and it's all been made exactly level with the seats for ease. Made sure we filled in underneath that front seat for that front compartment. No tackle or life jackets or anything like that's going to go missing underneath the seat. Second compartment, so this one is waterproof. Live well sitting in there now, can't come out, we've run the hoses all that down to the back. Now it's time to measure out the top sheet. So we had to cut out individually out of a piece of tin because it's not all uniform and work out exactly where this top sheet is going to fit neatly. The top sheet sitting on. We got didn't have enough to cover the whole width of the boat, so the top sheet's stay in two pieces. It sits up nicely. We put sicker flakes under it and then pot riveted it down. No need for me to get underneath there ever. Other side's on. Had a little bit of dramas measuring that because it's all different. Love where hoses come through the back. Now just to do the couple of lids, there's a lid for the live well, we put some reinforcing on the bottom of it. Got a new little block up the front for the switch panel. Ready to just screw that straight in. At the moment I've just got little holes cutting the compartments for lifting the lids. 
but I'll change them to certain type of handles and I'll decide what I want to run with. So put some bracing underneath the lids just to make sure they're nice and strong. It's fairly thick aluminium but you don't want anyone to jump straight in that middle section and, and get any flex. Thank you.